Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a Warzone thumbnail, much like your favorite content creators. I'll be giving you guys all the free assets that you guys need to go ahead and make it for yourself in Pixlr, so you guys don't have to pay for Photoshop or download any editing software. It's actually a really easy process, but before we get too far into today's video, if you guys could give a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. I do all sorts of tutorials here on the channel, including Warzone, Valorant tutorials, even like Fortnite tutorials and stuff like that. I also also do just regular banner tutorials like unrelated to like certain games with that being said before we get into the actual video I do want to just briefly go over the stuff that you guys need for this video so in the top link in the description there is a Google Drive make sure you guys go to that drive and download everything from there in there you guys are gonna find a folder full of warzone assets that I'm giving you guys for free again I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could share this video you know support it as much as you can I do make all of these myself in Photoshop so I do really appreciate all the support um, it really does take me a long time to kind of do this stuff but first of all we do have some emojis which i always like to include just to like show some form of expression in the thumbnail um we also have like different templates for like this red you know check mark that you guys see in pretty much every single like creator's thumbnail for warzone and we also have the font that i pretty much see everyone use and then we got a couple more i have a blank one so you guys can use the font with the blank one to go ahead and make your own i also have an hd stat bar that i made myself um and i'll show you guys how to change the color of that to match like whatever theme that you guys want to go for for the thumbnail we also have the overlay lines that i'll show you guys how to add that pretty much you see in every single warzone thumbnail they're all pretty much very similar and then also if you guys want to check out my personal call of duty channel where i have my thumbnails on there if you guys want to see what they look like or you guys just want to watch some call of duty warzone content make sure to go ahead and check out the first link in the description and yeah i think that's about it let's go ahead and just jump into today's tutorial <laughs> All right, so first thing you wanna do is go to Pixlr E on your browser. It's completely free editing software, much like Photoshop, but you don't have to download like anything really. You just go to this website. Again, link in the description if you guys don't want to type it in up on the top. So the very first thing we're gonna do once we're in Pixlr is we're gonna go to create new, then I'm gonna go to 1280 by 720. Then I'm just gonna name it Warzone thumbnail. You guys can kind of name it to whatever like gun you're doing or whatever type of video it is. Um, then I'm just gonna leave that. Make sure it's 1280 by 720. I'm gonna click on the background. I'm gonna click this, this white color. And I'm just gonna choose black because that's just the background I'm gonna work with. And we're just gonna click create. And as you guys can see, it gives us just the base one that we need. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna basically add everything but the gun. Um, then I'll show you guys how to like cut out your custom gun and add it to your thumbnail after. But what I'm actually gonna do is show you guys a couple of the thumbnails, for an example, like on my channel, if you guys didn't check it out already. This is the type of style that I'm gonna be showing you guys today. I'll show you guys how to like add all of this, obviously, and kind of make it all blend in. But what we're gonna do first is obviously add all of that stuff. So we're gonna go to layer, add image as layer, and then find that folder. So now that I'm in the folder, I'm going to to basically just click stat bar png and we're just going to add that right away so i'm going to go to edit free transform once it's added i'm going to drag it down i'm going to put it towards the bottom right here i'm going to click yes i'm going to rotate it a little bit i'm going to size it and we're going to put it right about there and then we're going to go to layer add image as layer and we're just going to add an emoji here and i'm just going to drag this down rotate it a little bit add it right about up here then we're pretty much good there. Now, all I need to do now is go to layer, add image as layer, and we're gonna find, I'm just gonna put buffed here for the Craig 6 because it did indeed get a buff. Uh, I don't know necessarily why. I thought it was already kind of a decent gun, especially with the other ones getting nerfed, but I mean, hey, this one's a little bit big, so I'm definitely gonna have to size this one. Yeah, we kind of got to drag this one down a bit, but now that we got this here, we're gonna just kind of Put this up here for now because i think that's about where we want it and then now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on getting kind of like the background behind it like a good color so the gun i'm actually working with and what you guys need to actually do is actually go into your war zone and as you guys can see here i have a screenshot right on my desktop of an actual gun that i wanted to do so whatever gun that you guys obviously you know want to do for your thumbnail just make sure you guys go into warzone and hit the windows print screen at the same time on your um keyboard if you guys have a 60 percent keyboard and you don't have the windows and the print screen button you guys can just like go to the windows button down below on your computer type in snip and then the snipping tool will come up if you guys have ever used that it's a pretty easy thing you guys can you know find other ways to like do it i know other people do different things but i just use windows print screen on my tkl keyboard and it works fine so we're just going to go out of there what we actually need to do now is I'm actually going to go back to Pixlr. I'm going to open up another Pixlr and another tab. I'm going to click open image. And I'm actually just going to open up that screenshot and it's right there. So I'm just going to click this and I'm going to go to, I'm just going to leave this on a full HD. I'm going to click apply. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the crop button over here. I'm just going to crop out everything I don't need. 
Don't need any of that on the top. I'm gonna go enter. Don't need any of that. And use a scroll wheel to zoom in on this a bit. Now, all we need to do is obviously cut this out. So I'm gonna go to the lasso tool. I'm gonna go to the polygon lasso up here in the top left. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in really far here using the scroll wheel on my mouse. And I'm literally just gonna click. And then it creates a point and I'm gonna click again every time I create a point. And I'm just gonna click around the gun very, very carefully, trying not to mess up anywhere. And I'm just gonna click around and then I will speed this up a little bit so you guys don't have to watch. But yeah, just make sure you don't like cut anything out of the gun. If you like get a little bit of the background, that's totally fine. You can use the eraser tool after to kind of get rid of it. But yeah, just make sure like, you know, you be careful because you can't really go back once you misclick. All right, and then as you guys can see, I clicked back on the original starting point and we have everything cut out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure it's not locked by double clicking that lock thing first. And then I'm gonna go to edit, I'm gonna go to cut, and then I'm gonna go all the way back. I'm gonna go to edit, I'm gonna go to paste, and that's how I get my gun in there. And then I'm just gonna size this up a bit here. All right, so we're gonna add a couple effects to the gun as well. I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna go to filter, and then I'm gonna go to, I believe it is details. And then we're gonna go to sharpen, and we're just gonna sharpen it. We're gonna drag this up a bit just to make it look a bit better. I'm gonna drag it all the way up to like about 90 or 80. As you guys can see, it makes it look a lot better. And then we're gonna make it a bit bigger here. I'm gonna go right over there. And then as you can see, the only flaw here is that I need to cut out this part right here. So I'm gonna go back to the lasso tool and I'm just gonna click again here, make sure I'm selected on the gun layer. And I'm just gonna cut this part out because it honestly just does not look good at all. I don't have to do like the best of job in his backspace and then select, deselect. And then there's a little bit in here behind the trigger. So I'm just gonna click around here and just get that out there. I'm gonna click backspace, select, deselect. And then as you guys can see, the gun is looking much, much better. Now let's go to the stat bar. Let's go to adjustment. And then let's go to hue and saturation. And then let's drag the hue of the stat bar to kind of match that gun, like that yellow. Um, as you guys can see, that kind of looks good. We're gonna add a little bit of saturation, a little bit of lightness as well. We're gonna click apply. Now let's also go to the bottom layer and let's just kind of like blend a little bit of it in. Um, let's go to the brush tool and we're actually gonna go to the brush. We're gonna go to size to about, I'd say anywhere from like 200 to 300. We're gonna go a little bit bigger actually. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the color and we're just gonna grab like the same yellow right here. I'm actually make it just a bit brighter. I'm gonna go to the opacity and drag the opacity down to maybe like four or 5%. Then we're just gonna add a little bit of coloring behind uh, make the opacity maybe a little bit less here, maybe around like one or two percent. And we're just gonna kind of go on the background layer and just add a little bit of color and add some color around the gun as well. Kind of make it look better and then kind of add it around the edges a little bit. And then now all we need to do is add a little bit of the effects to kind of wrap it up. We're gonna go to layer, add image as layer, and then let's actually go back to that folder again. And then we're gonna go to this overlay one and we're gonna double click that. And now what we actually need to do here is just kind of leave it how it is and go to the three dots next to it. And we're gonna go to the blend mode and we're gonna go to screen. And then that's obviously how you guys can kind of get it to like overlay instead of just look black. Um, what you guys can kind of do is layer it maybe like underneath the gun, underneath like the emoji to kind of make it look good. Um, you can also kind of like drag it so it doesn't take up as much of the image as you guys want. Um, and then, then I like to also click here, click on the three dots and just kind of drag the transparency down so it doesn't kind of like take away from the rest of the thumbnail. So now that you're done, all you guys need to do is actually just go to file. We're gonna go to save and then just make sure it's on JPG. We're gonna drag the quality all, well, all the way up to 100%. Um, sometimes you guys can do PNG if it's a higher um, like size right here, it'll be a higher quality, it doesn't really matter. But um, we'll just make sure it's 1280 by 720 so that it works for thumbnails. We're gonna go to download and then I'm actually just gonna cl click the three dots. I'm gonna click show in folder. Then I usually just like to kind of minimize and just drag it to my desktop here. Kind of like all the ones you guys see here. And then you guys have your thumbnail that you guys can use for pretty much any video. 
you guys can keep the template as well to kind of swap out the guns whenever you guys need it then just switch the colors so you guys don't have to like redo it every time thanks again so much for watching let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to do a more advanced version maybe some kind of thumbnail like this like some that i made and show you guys kind of how to do the webcam and everything just let me know again in the comments down below and by supporting this video we'll catch you guys in the next video on the channel thank you for watching peace